first things first, we often start with looking for inflammation because as we mentioned in vasculitis, there is inflammation in blood vessels and that inflammation spills over into the bloodstream so we can measure it. Um, and the two most common tests that we have for inflammation are the sederate. The full term is the erythrocyte, meaning red blood cell sedimentation rate. And basically what we're looking at is how fast the red blood cells fall in a column of blood. So the blood is put into a glass tube basically, and then they look at how fast these red blood cells kind of precipitate or fall in the tube. It's not a very accurate test. The CRP on the other hand tends to be more accurate. This is a direct measure of inflammation. It's you know, processed by a machine. The one thing to watch for for the CRP is that some labs have different normal ranges. So in some labs, it's measured in a unit called milligrams per deciliter so that the normal is somewhere less than one. But in some labs uh, at Mayo Clinic, for example, it's measured in milligrams per liter and our normal is up to eight. So it's very important to know that if you're communicating these results to your physician, if you are monitoring them or charting these numbers to make sure that the, um, that the, that the lab uh, is consistent or at least that you are aware that there may be some variability from lab to lab in terms of the units that are being done in that lab testing. So we use these markers, they're not perfect. Of course, as you know, uh, these markers are not specific, meaning these markers can go up with other illnesses, main thing being infection. So if somebody has, for example, influenza, these markers may go up and we have to then tease out, are these markers elevated because of vasculitis or because there may be something else going on like an infection. And then for ANCA vasculitis, the most helpful test is the ANCA test. And ANCA stands for anti-neutrophil. Neutrophils are white blood cells. So these are antibodies. They are proteins that the body makes in people with vasculitis, they, they shouldn't be there normally, but in people with vasculitis, the body makes these antibodies that stick to white blood cells, to neutrophils. And we can test these in the blood. They are helpful for reaching a diagnosis. So in people with GPA or with MPA or with eGPA, we often see a positive C anca or positive P anca. And then not to complicate matters too much, but the lab will often do a combination of testing and CANCA goes along with a test called PR3 and PANCA goes along with a test called MPO. So you may see your physicians checking both of these. Um, again, they are helpful for the diagnosis and we often check them periodically during uh, the disease process to see how those tests are doing over time. 